like he said, this is the second uh, time we have been uh, represented in the Gator Bowl from 1978. And those of you that were around maybe at that time, uh, we're looking to have a, a, a much different, uh, not only outcome, but uh, remembers, uh, memories uh, for the future. But I appreciate it. We're, we're excited. Uh, the university is excited, uh, not only to be here, but, but uh, to represent the Big Ten as well. So uh, I appreciate it on behalf of The Ohio State University. Thank you. We don't really like to use that. We were competitive. Uh, that's our expectation. Our expectations are not to be competitive, but um, but is to win. Uh, you know, it, it was a long year for us, and I tell you, kind of going into the season, had an idea that hey, we, we got to get off to a pretty good start because with everything that's happened to us, uh, I knew it was probably going to have a little bit of wear and tear on the team uh, emotionally uh, as as we came down the stretch. So I think the one thing we got we saw uh, coming down that last game was probably the emotions, but were our ability to pick up our emotions. Yes, we got some guys back late in the year um, to, to give us a little bit of an emotional boost, um, but it still was wearing and taxing on our guys. So uh, I think that last game we probably saw a little bit more of who we really are as far as an emotional uh, standpoint, as far as an effort standpoint, and uh, that's what we got to continue to grow on. Like I said, we lost our last three games, so I'm not sure it was a, the, the exact improvement we were looking for down the stretch. Uh, but yeah, offensively, obviously, we, we turned around a little bit. We found, uh, you know, when, when we got some guys back, we found a little bit more of an emotion. We found some things to, to open up the offense a little bit, uh, to give us ability to, to get the ball to different guys. Obviously, our freshman quarterback uh, th throughout the entire season grew. I think that's probably the one area that we could truly say that, uh, you know, we did a much better job towards the end of the year understanding what he can do. Uh, and getting some people around him uh, to, to take some of the heat off of him to have the ability to, to make some plays. Uh, I guess you've done your homework a little bit more than, uh, than the rest, but uh, there, there's going to be matchups all over the places. You, you know there's going to be storylines all over the places. Um, it's going to come down to obviously who, who, can, who can do the best job of preparations. Um, we, we probably all have, uh, all have areas that we know we are of weakness and areas of strengths, and uh, it's, it's you know, on us to obviously um, get better at the ones we need to get better at and, and to do a great job at focusing on our strengths and, and building upon those. So um, obviously there's going to be a bunch of different kind of matchups in that area, and um, whoever can take advantage of them will, will be successful. Uh, you know, it's, it's, been, it's been a kind of year where we've had a lot of different types of questions like that, a lot of different uh, things that our guys have had to go through, but that's not what we're looking at it as. Uh, this is a game our guys are excited. We've got a lot of fourth and fifth year seniors that have, that have been through a lot of things, have had a lot of, a lot of highs and lows uh, throughout their career. And, and the most important thing is we're focusing upon ourselves. It's not about who's going to be there in the future, who's not going to be there in the future. Um, this is about a football game. It's about uh, you know the hundred and some guys that we'll bring, the hundred and some guys that they'll bring, uh, your ability to compete on and off the field. Um, and, and we're going to continue to focus on those things. Great to be in Jacksonville. A lot of Gators in, uh, in the crowd today, and there should be a lot on January 2nd. But on behalf of President Dr. Bernie Matchin and our athletic director Jeremy Foley and the head football coach of the University of Florida, really excited about the Gator Bowl, uh, playing a team like Ohio State, uh, very similar from the standpoint of the tradition uh, and the fan base and the passionate base that they have. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Two great programs. Both programs have struggled a little bit this year, which we had fin finished a little better. Uh, certainly, and I know Ohio State feels the same way, but got a lot of respect for Luke Fickle and the situation he was put in this year and did an outstanding job with his football team. And I know his guys are anxious to play us as we are uh, them as well. So I'll go ahead and open it up for any questions you might have. Now, uh, Charlie took the, uh, the University of Kansas head football job today. Uh, he informed me about, uh, about a couple hours ago. Very happy for him and his wife, Maura. Really excited for them and getting an opportunity to be a head coach. It's a great compliment to our staff. Uh, we've had numerous schools contact me about uh, prospective coaches on our staff and for him to have the opportunity to be a head coach again I know he's really excited about and we certainly uh, wish him all the luck best of luck as far as calling the bowl game right now on staff Brian White would assume the play calling duties uh, to the bowl game uh, we are going to remain a pro style offense and I will go hire the best offensive coordinator in the country we need to improve offensively it's pretty obvious and we look forward to taking those steps forward but we're happy for Charlie
there aren't many opportunities you get to be a head coach. You know, and I know Charlie, the last one didn't end the way he wanted it to. He's an outstanding football coach. He's a family man, and I'm extremely happy for him and his wife and his, and his uh, Hannah and Charlie Jr. Uh, did he, did he tell you can I finish? Sorry. All right. But I'm really happy for his family, but you go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about it. How long ago? It's in the recent days, he was contacted about the job, and we talked about it, and he told me it was an opportunity that he wanted to take. And I'm supporting 1,000%. Any time in, in our profession is no different than the business world. When you're able to take a step up, I support it 1,000%. You know, in a situation when you're a coordinator and you got an opportunity to be a head coach, I support it 100%. And that's what he wanted to do. And I asked him, I said, this is this something you're really interested in doing? He said, yeah, I want to talk to him. If I wasn't interested, I would not talk. So I said, I support you 100% if that's what you want to do. I think that's great. Now, when guys make parallel moves, I don't necessarily agree. Guys can further their career. I think it's great. He'll be, he'll be considered, certainly. But, again, I'm going to do what's best for the University of Florida at the end of the day. And we need to improve offensively. We need to improve our football team. I think another year in our system, which we will hire somebody very similar schematically uh, for what I want to do philosophically. Well, it needs to be for us. We need to play well here, and we need to win here. So that, this is important for us to play well here in the Gator Bowl. Uh, our guys understand that. I think you got two uh, of the best high school coaching and player talent bases in the country in Florida and Ohio. Uh, so it ought to be a great matchup. No. Again, I've been contacted by numerous schools about our staff, which is a huge compliment to the staff we have, which we have an outstanding staff. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, we, we have guys that we want continuity with our staff. Again, if guys get a promotion and guys get a step up, I think that's great and I support it. It says a lot about the guys you hired, that they do a good job and they're good football coaches and they're good men and they're good recruiters. Uh, but again, I'm very pleased with the continuity of our staff and don't anticipate any changes moving forward. I think, you know, transition, kids are resilient, you know. The, the, the fan base isn't as much, uh, but, but uh, the kids are resilient. They're going to be fine. We're going to be fine, and we're going to improve, and we're going to get better from it. And that's the way you got to look at it. And we're going to go out and hire an outstanding coach. Hey, we're at the University of Florida. We're going to be able to go hire an outstanding football coach that's going to fit what I want done within our offense and within our systems. And that's what we're, we're going to do, and I'm going to take my time on it to make sure we hire the right guy and get the right fit because that's really what it's about. It's kind of like recruiting. You're going out to find the right fit for what you want as you move forward. And, again, philosophically doing the things that I want to do, we just got to have more production. There's no timetable on the hire. you got to make the right hire. So I'm not, I'm not going to put a timetable on anything. You've got to make the right hire in those situations. Uh, You've got to be able to make you take the right guy. Sure, no question. They've been friends and uh, colleagues for 25 years, and I totally understand that. Yeah. Sure. As far as I know. As far as you know. Yeah, he did. Oh, okay. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you all very much.